Hi! In this video, we're experimenting with basic series and parallel resistors and their behavior at DC. This is a great first video to watch if you're just getting started with CircuitLab, as it covers some of the basics of exploring the behavior of circuits. Let's start with a very simple setup, with two resistors in series, like you would see on a homework problem. To add resistors to my schematic, I simply clicked and dragged them from the toolbox and dragged them right on the grid. Next, I drag a voltage source from my toolbox, and I also add a ground, because every circuit needs a ground to simulate properly. At this point, I'd like to talk about this little red dot in the corner. This is the status of the live DC simulation that CircuitLab is running in the background. Currently, it's red because this is an invalid circuit. So let's wire up the elements. To connect elements with wires, I just move over the endpoint of any element and click and drag out to extend a wire. With a few simple clicks, I now have a valid circuit and my status indicator turns green. Now that CircuitLab has a solution for my circuit, I can mouse over to explore the voltages and currents. I can mouse over any wire to see the voltage at that node relative to ground. Mouse over any endpoint of any element to see the current flowing into that node. And I can mouse over components to see useful values that are different for every component. In this case, if I mouse over the resistors, I get the voltage across it, the current through it, and the power dissipated in the resistor. If I double click on a resistor, I can change the resistance of R1. CircuitLab automatically updates the values. Let's hit Ctrl Z to undo those changes, and let's add another resistor in parallel with R1. The equivalent resistance of R1 in parallel with R3 is now lower, so I expect a higher voltage across R2 than before, and I can see that that is true. I can highlight R1 and R3, hit Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste, then drag my new resistors out to add more resistors in parallel. What do I expect to happen to the voltage across R2 now? That's right, went up again. You can ask similar questions about current and power in circuits as you add more elements to your circuit and probe around with your mouse. Before I wrap up, I want to go over two more things. First, in addition to the mouse over tooltips, CircuitLab also has a voltmeter and an ammeter. You can drop these elements in and wire them up like you would on a real circuit. The DC values they show will update live with changes to the circuit. The other is a warning. The values you see in this mode are DC values at steady state. This can be extremely useful for a bunch of applications. However, it is not always the complete picture. CircuitLab has three other simulation modes. You can access these from the Simulate tab. DC mode will give you the same values from the live DC mode. For more information about the other simulation modes, you can see our documentation and the rest of our videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.